Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. In this video, I'm going to show you the new RAM that I purchased. So this is a RAM that I purchased from Amazon. This is the Kingston Fury 8GB RAM DDR3. So I'm just going to conduct a benchmark test before I insert the RAM. As of now, I have 4GB RAM in my computer. I have i5 processor. Okay. Also, I have a SSD hard disk. So the operating system is installed on a SSD hard disk. So I'm just going to run the test and let's see what we get, what results we get before and after installing the RAM. I have to still unbox the RAM. <laughs> so I'll um, show you once it is unboxed. As of now, we are going to start the first test. That is, inside both the RAMs, it is going to become 16 GB of total RAM. Let's see, I'm just curious to see what is the result. So here yeah, I'm going to start the test. This is Nova Benchmarks for Windows. The rating with the current system with 8 GB RAM is 701 so let's see what happens when it becomes 16 gb ram and with the i5 processor let's see what happens so i'm going to unbox the ram as of now like i hope it's a proper product that has been del delivered wow this is the ram it, it looks fantastic Seriously, I just love the look like even online when I seen this RAM it looked amazing. I just love the design. There were many other RAMs that were available in the market but I don't think anyone had a better design than this. So I'm just opening I hope it's quality, there's a quality seal right here. I don't know if there's here. Opening, I'll show you it once it's open. Sometimes they put cello tape on this quality seal, so just be aware that it doesn't happen to you. So, luckily, there is no cello tape on this, but I'm just making you aware that yes, it happens. This is what a RAM should look like. It is quite fat and the thickness is there. This is a heat sink so this will prevent the RAM from becoming hot. I hope you can have a clear look about it. So I'm just going to turn off my computer and install this RAM. So this is inside my computer. Here you see that there is one RAM slot that is available here and the other RAM slot is already has the blue color Fury RAM that is HyperX by Kingston. So I'm just going to document the process of me installing the RAM. So here there are some clips. These clips need to be pressed. Here I opened one clip. Now there's one more clip here on the top. So you have to just make sure that those clips are opened up. Here one clip and here is the second clip. Then you have to just press the RAM. I have a DDR3 RAM so one side will be longer than the other. So you have to just match it up and press the RAM inside. So as you see this is the longer side of the RAM whereas this is the shorter side. So you have to just match this up and insert it in the correct place. Just press it gently. Uh, until you press hear the click sound. There should be a click sound. The 
clip should automatically close once you have pressed the RAM. So I don't know if you heard the sound, there was a small click sound. Now the RAM is properly inserted. So I will have to just start the computer and check whether the RAM is working or not. Display is not coming on, it's going in power saving mode for some reason. Ah, oh, God save me. <laughs> there was some wire that was loose, so um, that's the reason why I couldn't uh, see the monitor on. So, here we have my computer properties. So, let's see how much GB RAM is showing. Here we see 16 GB. So, now I'm going to conduct the test once again. Now with 16 GB RAM, let's start the test. So I just got about 70 points more than the previous go after installing more 8 GB RAM. I don't know, like, even after increasing so much RAM, the performance score didn't increase so much. Uh, I'll let you know if there is any improvement in the video editing speed, the time it takes to export and all that. Just remember guys that time is money, so it's always important to see, uh, to find ways to save time just keep that in mind so i hope that you enjoyed this video guys peace take care